So the camera is on. We're being recorded. Um, no members of the public being present. Um, let's move on to our business. I, I wanted to begin with, um, um, let's have a, a moment to uh, remember um, uh, Gay, who was uh, with this commission for a, a, a long time and uh, it, 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 uh, departed recently. Let's just have a, have a moment. And uh, Mary Ann, if you, if you would like to say what the uh, arrangements are, the memorial for Gay is. It's on funeral and memorial this Friday. Um, we we can say I think we're at that. Or somebody can read it. Judy, if you would Judy can read, read, read that for. It's down there. Pat on that. But we also have to say that that again, um, Marianne, you just said such a remarkable example for us all. Your generosity and your caring and your, and your good heart. Calling hours will be held for Gay on Friday from 8 to 9.30 a.m. at Seleuzniak Funeral Home, followed by a mass at St. Elizabeth Ann Seton at 10 a.m. Burial is private and will be held at the convenience of the family. And I would like to just um, include that Gaetan Gay, that's her nickname, forever, um, her burial will be held on October 6th, and it is just strictly for both families in Swanton, Vermont, in her family's plot. And that will be at 10 o'clock in the morning, and I've made all the arrangements for that also with family. She will be missed. Yeah smiling woman who is always present. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. You know, and, and Patty Healy called me before the election, and she said, Marianne, I'm going to tell you right now. She said, I know you're going to be at the school on election day. She said, I have a chair that we're bringing with a sign on it, and it's gonna, the sign is going to say, in memory of gay, holding signs. And I can't tell you the people that came by to women and to women. It was the most, most beautiful thing that Patty and everybody thought about doing. Well, I didn't want to have that be just part of our general agenda. So um, just to move on, let, let's do uh, our, our introductions for the record. I'm uh, Chris Palamas, uh, Chair of the Disability Commission. Judy Kimberly, Secretary. City Councilor Mary Ann LaBarge, Vice Chair. A Teach Award and Member of Disability. Jean Page Bogle. Corey Westberg, ADA Coordinator for Northampton. Emma Cornwell, Member. I don't know if this one can pick me up. I'll try to use my Thestian voice. It does seem that we have more amplification. Yeah. Um, We're picking you up over here. They are. Okay. Good. I, I, I'm a very different acknowledgement, but also want to say um, I think the commission, we ought to express our, our thanks to, um, to Ruth McGrath for her years of uh, participation and service um, um, with the commission. Um, um, Ruth has now um, had to uh, give up her continuing relationship since she moved to Ware um, because of um, a number of health issues and, and other, other concerns. Um, I think um, we would do well when Ruth is perhaps um, more mobile um, as we get through the, the winter um, 
anticipate asking her to um, come back and do some something on some appreciation for that time. Ruth just fell down again. Oh, she's no. been falling off and on. And oh no! I even told her about today. She's going to be at my house with my husband at five o'clock, and um, she won't come back. She she won't come back to the committee or anything anymore. I think she's going to be involved with the senior center up in uh, up in where. Well, Mitt, I think uh, that's only to say thanks and extend an, an invitation. Perhaps we can send her a letter of thanks. Exactly. I, yeah. I think we should make that motion and do it. Do a letter of thanks. Okay. Also, Chris, I just wanted to let you know at um, City Services, our committee meeting yesterday, um, we made highly positive recommendations to full city council. and. It will be coming this Thursday, where we'll have another new member coming in. Um, Keikos is her last name, and she apparently, way back at the Memorial Building, belonged to the Commission on Disabilities. And her husband, Peter Keikos, which we know, highly involved in the church here on Main Street. So she's going to be an excellent, excellent candidate. And she's joining? What? Next month. And she's joining next month. Yeah. Well, we're going to be approving her Thursday night by City Council. We've already approved her in our committee. Mm -hmm. So she'll be approved at City Council on Thursday. So whenever she gets sworn in, she's done. Good. Uh, I, I move that we write a letter of thanks to Ruth for. Sounds great. I, I second it. All in favor? Aye. Well, I will um, I'll write a letter. Sweet. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have a need to do things out of order apparently today. <laughs> That's, uh, often right. That's okay. It comes in wave. What are we to say? Um, approval of the August 21st um, the minutes. I think there are some, some corrections. Um, um, Ken's name is Ken Pratt. Mm -hmm. Ken Fisher, that's, and um, we'll get the, the formatting um, uh, sorted out or final on this. Any um, additional concerns? We did not have access to a, a recording of this meeting, so it was particularly um, um, a challenge. I think without the recording, I think that Judith did a very good job with the minutes, and thank you very much. And I make a motion to approve them. With the, the, the one change of name? Yes. Um, all, do we have a second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, yeah. The minutes are, are approved. The excision of any, any typos um, as well. Our next item is uh, discussion of the um, priority findings and recommendations. And those were provided to you all as an email attachment. Now, fess up. Anybody read them? Yeah. I did. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I would encourage you to, to, to do so. And in the meantime, what I'm trying to do, of course, is to um, pull back my own unrealistic expectations about the scope of a report um, and what is really a preliminary report that will that we'll need to begin discussions uh, with the mayor. Um, what you will find in that email attachment are, are nine recommendations that I think they're, they are broad, but they, they capture what have been our major uh, points of discussion and concern um, over these last few years. Led, number one, with the concern of the need to um, make the position of ADA coordinator workable that we understand as 
currently constituted the amount of disability related business that can come through is just simply more uh, realistically than, than, than Marie or Linda previously or Patty uh, previously, any um, could um, deal with it. And it's gonna do nothing but become more significant um, for a number of um, reasons, including the increasing numbers of people with disabilities um, living, in, uh, living in the city. So take a look at those recommendations and uh, if you feel that there are any um, oversights, um, you know, um, please let me know on that. I wanted to make it a workable number. I have added um, a tenth recommendation and I'll distribute that by email. The tenth recommendation I put in was simply to um, say that a procedure actually has to be put in place to make decisions if a recommend, if a requested uh, accommodation or modification or other, um, if the city were to decide that it was beyond the available resources or that it was um, something that was really not consistent with uh, the nature of a program or service. This final recommendation is just that those decisions have to be made explicitly, they have to be made documented, they have to be documented, mm -hmm. and finally, under the law, everything that falls below the line that becomes um, an undue financial or administrative burden um, does have to be carried out. So it goes from what is typically, you know, understood that decisions are made off the recup. Um, something is uh, too extensive a, a, a request, it's simply going to be denied out of hand. Um, this says that any decision like that has to be made, be made in a considered way and then documented. So I will. Um, forward that 10th recommendation. You will find the other nine buried in your emails and um, please do take a look at that. I try to be consistent with, with things that we have all discussed. Yeah, Chris, on the ADA coordinator position, has there been an update from the mayor at all? Well, I, I think, you know, getting the, the this draft set of recommendations and putting them on the table is the opening to you know, to, to having that that um, that conversation and say we're we're serious about this. This is not workable. Right, because I think if I can recall, that the mayor did apparently state was it to you that he apparently it was pushed back for a bit because he was so busy. Yeah. Right. Well, I really feel that this is mandatory and. I think that once you're doing what you're doing, I think he should be invited to our commission and talk about this. I think as we put this draft on the table, yes, to have the mayor come yeah. and, and here's the logic of it. What we are doing is an update to a legally required document. Mm -hmm. That is the ADA self-evaluation yes. and transition plan. We were funded by the Mass Office of Disability to update that. We are recommending to the mayor and then to the city council, you know, uh, both findings of fact and recommendations for action. Mm -hmm. Once those are taken in, it is basically a public record that says we are not in compliance with the law, that there is more that we need to do. Um, therefore, you can say there are matters of, you know, timing how things have to be executed. But if you say no, again, that final recommendation says you have to document your reasons why. Um, I think the logic is that if this coordinator's position is, as we know, absolutely vital, mm -hmm. and if it is demonstrably simply uh, can't be carried out in conjunction with the other responsibilities of doing senior services, the city has to act. Exactly. Thank you, Chris. How, Chris, how did the the cop, how did the last meeting go about the cop? I know the cop was supposed to come and speak about it last month, right? Uh, the police chief uh, came to the to the last meeting, and I thought we had a 
I thought we had a good discussion. What, what I was struck by is any forum like this, it's hard to have. It's not conversational. It becomes very, very formal. A, a couple of things. The, the chief certainly talked about, you know, a, awareness of officers, that there are concerns about issues like, like um, um, parking um, that's illegal either in spaces or blocking sidewalks. The chief made, I thought, one important recommendation. Human nature being what it is, if that space that we've been concerned of near the Hotel Northampton is open and inviting, somebody's going to break the law and park there. And um, any efforts, if officers can respond and whatever they need to do, that the solution there, the best solution really is structural. It's to put some kind of the, the chief said planters, but you can call them planters, ballers, but other structural solution there that's going to going to prevent that particular space. And I, that point to me was well taken. Um, when I was in Vermont, um, I had a handicap sticker, but you still had to pay. When I was in 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 the not New York State, like when you got across the border, yeah, you, you had to. Because we didn't know that you have to pay with your handicap, but they don't. We we got my mom got a fine for for cause we cause I my mom like for a handicap sticker because we didn't know that that you couldn't park park that you had to pay you had to pay with your handicap. Yeah, yeah. the law varies in in different in different states and different. Um, communities and it was rather a shock I think it was an area in California that first adopted the provision you can park in the accessible space but you do have to pay um, we do not have to do that still here in, in Massachusetts that's a good thing so um, let me see other points on these findings and recommendations and there is one uh, particularly, Emma, I would like to discuss with you because um, Emma, as you may know, part of the reason we moved to Emma to come over to the commission was her own um, experiences of, of struggling with the, the pedestrian environment. Oh yeah, me too, right? When I got hit by a car too. And you had, had your concerns also. That's right. We, for, for Emma, we were concerned about, um, and, and you took extensive pictures, were really useful. At any rate, I would like to get together with you and craft some part of that part of the report, because I think it's one of the ones where this final recommendation, you can say, oh my god, it's a third of a mile, and that would be an awful lot of regrading, and what do we expect to do? I think the response is we would expect someone from the city to go and meet someone with appropriate design skills who would then start looking at the route and what are the potential um, before you say, say no. There's a line at which things would probably be too costly, but there is also first the exploration of would this route with the introduction of a curb cut and repair of, say, hypothetically, three significant you know, sections along the way, would that do the job? The obligation is to explore the problem solving first, to cost it, and then to make it a decision about um, what might be considered an undue burden and do everything up until. And it would be very helpful if we could get together and talk about that part. Also, whether we can use your name on, on that part of it or whether you want to remain. Oh, oh we're on video. Oh, yeah. Uh, you may use my name. <laughs> and I can also come up to your place uptown sometime with the draft. And, and we can. Do you think we could fix the light on that crosswalk so nobody gets hit there ever again at Smith College? Um, what we did, we looked at Letitia and that, that crosswalk that there is, we, we understand that there was, a, there was a problem, but the way the crosswalks are marked and the signage is pretty much, there's, 
not anything additional that we can see to do there. All right. We are going to make some broad recommendations, like one of the priority concerns in the area has been the West Street intersection. All of that is, you know, um, overwhelming to try to figure out what a design solution is. Actually, when we sent out the draft, you all should be embarrassed now because Wayne did respond in about a minute and a half when I sent it out. And Wayne actually, to an original drafted recommendation, gave me uh, some good language suggestions, which I, I put into recommendation number eight as it appears that we, we do look at these, you know, high volume intersections and we, we look at the introduction potentially of audible signals, um, improved markings and extensions. So it's, he gave good language on a general recommendation there. So, so that being said, look at your emails and do we have any other new business? Um, to be dis discussed at, at this point. I, just one question about when, when people go back and look at it. If you hear nothing, is it assumed that it's okay the way that it is? If nobody responds? Right, I think just because we don't, how many people are out today? We know Winston. And Winston and um, Jim Winston, uh, by the way, because of the uh, um, uh, holiday, holiday chapter four. Um, is not here, and I will I will communicate with Jim separately. Who else is not? Hannah. 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 And I'm not she sure called? if we are clear about how to communicate Somebody with Hannah. Somebody did call. I, I, I didn't get a clear message. So yeah. she might have called. Yeah. Some someone did call and said they weren't coming. So it's a holiday. Oh, that's Jim. That's Jim. That was Jim Winston. Oh, okay. There's a holiday today? Uh, this, the, the yes, Jewish holiday. Jewish, um, Jewish high holy days. Um, so I think that him is absent. And uh, in the future, I felt, oh, God, I missed that on the calendar, and we might in the, in the future um, look ahead, as we certainly would for any of the, um, any of the Christian high holidays. We would, certainly want to do the do the same and look at our schedule in the future. Um, is there anything else at this point? I found that the camera instruction useful. Yes. We now yes. know that we have a Rode Video Mic Pro that needs to have a recharged nine volt battery. And I like the section where it's at. No camera. Yes. Uh huh. I like that too actually. <laughs> One other really useful improvement is certainly getting the, the wiring away from this side of the room. Um, it would be good for us to get a simple and, and set as a general standard one of those rubber, rubber channels that contains wiring when it crosses floors. Um, and it's either a matter of securing wiring by, by gaffer tape taping it down, or mm -hmm. even better, is um, one of those um, rubber channels, because th these are just a, a general tripping hazard. You run mm -hmm. wiring, um, it's not necessarily an issue of someone having a disability, it's a matter of yeah. your your foot. It's That's it's true. trying to prevent somebody from else from having a disability. Yeah, but I think we also ought to say, and, and some, a lot of appreciation for the, the media center mm -hmm. at uh, at Northampton um, TV at the unit at the at the high school, which is is providing a lot of uh, a lot of resources. I will bring up our matter of new business, which is next month, as Mary Ann explained to us. You know, we had to check with Mary Ann. Now, when is our election? October. And it is no, it's November. Is it November sixth? It is in mm -hmm. the, the, the October the election. election. Commission. Oh. Right. Will be the, the election of, of officers, so we consideration of that. Um, Judy and I are not going to be able to serve as, as officers next year because of uh, a variety of changes in our family circumstances. I, I, my own yes. utterly optimistic um, right. the intention writing. to work on, on writing the book 
we're going to uh, take at least this this next year and have to kind of kind of pull back. Um, and um, we have spoken with um, um, with Gene, and I certainly am going to intend to put forward his name and nomination to be chair. And so we're going to um, need to uh, have someone also serve as secretary. Um, Ruth had at one point um, been able to do some transcription of recordings. Um, that basically uh, devolved over time, so it hasn't worked very well. So one of the things we want to put in place, I think, Marie, is some support to you that also could support that function, so whoever does step up as secretary of the commission is not going to be um, over overburdened. Mm -hmm. And One we'll also have we'll a also way do. of doing proper formal <laughs> exactly. which this secretary does not have a way of doing. The night before meetings at our house it's, are, it's are, are, are a bit of a kerfuffle sometimes. Have, uh, I don't have anything. Do I have to take an old one and put it in and then when it be transcribed, to transcribe like this. So if the ship Beautiful. of state runs smoothly, we will deal with our elections next time. And it also, I think, one of the, the possibilities considered was the, the senior uh, that tax abatement program in exchange for 90 hours of, of work might certainly to be considered as, as support on the ADA coordinator function. Um, without, however, suggesting to the mayor that that's in any way a solution, that's merely you know, holding, holding back the flood. Also, too, with Ruth's position that she had, which was handling the website and so forth like that. So who are we going to be getting to do that? Will it but be somebody in sure the city? Will it be somebody in the city? Was anything done on the website? I don't know. She was dealing with you, Chris. And I would say that I had nothing in hand that constituted any, any change. Changes. As I said, and I think the recommendation that you will see says something on the order of um, under effective communication that best practices in information technology accessibility mm -hmm. um, will be um, be um, identified um, and promoted. And I had said that my recommendation on that, well, I'm sure the people within the city are working very yeah. seriously at is we have some important um, um, resources in the area of Rob Evely, who's the Information Technology Accessibility Coordinator for the five colleges. He's the person we had to do a preliminary look and, and I would like to suggest that until, um, frankly, I don't know enough to do a full evaluation on our website. There are so many technical areas that fall under this, and I would defer to that, that particular person in the area as a kind of backup and, and quality evaluation assessment review person for, yeah, for what I, we but do. But you're right. also talking about just the updating information on the city's website. Exactly, because she was getting paid for doing that. Yeah, I don't know if she if she was doing that or if I mean all I have to do is call um, this you know the city department that is overseeing that and I think it may exactly be Lynn because she told me like she was supposed to be getting forty dollars a month but she was not getting that right yeah so um, but I can talk to the mayor's office about whether we want to hire someone to replace Ruth to to be transcribing. And adding on. Yeah, just let us know um, anything that you recommend as a way of moving forward that's going to give, exactly. you, yeah. give you some coverage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ideally someone who knows. I know what she, what she did know. Was she, had, she had the letterhead. She knew how to post yes. the minutes. She knew how to, you know, which right. has not been passed on to the secretary. Nope. So. Right, right, right. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know who has that knowledge now. Well, I can do that. Yeah. Well, I think once we get a, a template down or someone new and, and yes. fill in on that. 
It's I yes. think what, what you're doing is simply trying to do too different. many things simultaneously. <laughs> so whoever and, becomes and we secretary, get that at this point. So. Get them right over there to Laura. She'll show them. <laughs> I thought Ruth showed her to do that. Okay, so right. one word to to next year. The other thing I said, you know, to you know, continue to be members, and also, um, I'm not a gavel person. Definitely. You're not. You might have suspected. So um, one of the things I'll, I'll be pleased to do is taking some of the particular tasks related to the to the recommendations and being able to pursue them. I haven't had time to go actually look at the assistant listing systems and. Um, you know, that's another one of our, our priority concerns. So, Chris, you are recommending Gene to be chair. Um, we'll do the we'll do the nominations next next month. But my my intention is the gentleman from North Carolina. <laughs> Can I do it too? Because it's always guys do it. Can I do it too? Well, we have one chair. No, there's. Well, it's elected. If people have to be nominated for a particular position. A chair, a vice and chair, and a secretary, like Chris. Three yeah. positions there. Yes. Okay. How, how about the week? How, how do I get nominated? I would like to get a promotion. I think we should talk about that uh, yes. next week at our election. We talk about that outside. Yeah. <laughs> We'll see. Um, anything else on no business? How I do go on? I expect when somebody else is the chair, I will not have to do this constant. Yeah. You know what, Chris? I want to tell you the significant difference on the Commission on Disability since you have come on it. We're moving out of direction, and a direction that we were in before, we were not going anywhere. And there has been a significant change, and I want to thank you. Thank you for everything that you have done. And no matter if you're not chair, we know yeah. you're still going to be here with I'll us. Be, be. And you'll make sure that no matter if any of us leave, that our Commission on Disabilities will be always going in the right direction. Thank Marianne, um, I, th I thank you for giving me a sense of direction on this and pulling me in. And I have to I say, over these, over these years that I've been a member of the Commission on Disability, for more than that, but I have so much more deeply fallen in love with this city. I think this is just an extraordinary community, and, and God knows we, we have a lot to do. We have a lot to do, but you know, the, 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 the foundation is um, well above average. So thank you, Mary. Okay, with no, um, any other new business? No. So, um, motion to adjourn will be entertained. Second. I thank my, my friend from North Carolina. Motion to adjourn, second. It has been seconded. Boom, all in favor. Aye. Aye. Aye.